My name is Denson Barahona. I'm originally from Honduras. My father is, is a citizen. My wife is a citizen. My son is being born here. My mom is a legal resident. You know, I've been here for 20 years. So what is the point of ICE having me here for? Mi nombre es Andrea Manrique, que tengo 34 años, soy colombiana y llegué a Estados Unidos con mi visa de turista. Me preguntaron qué me traía acá, claramente les manifesté que tenía miedo de regresar a mi país, pero jamás, jamás me imaginé que me fueran a detener por decir que tenía miedo de regresar a mi país. Llevo actualmente en la detención de Irwin 11 meses. Esto ha sido un completo infierno. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. All of Italy, a country of 60 million people, is now effectively a red zone. COVID-19 is sweeping through the country's jails. They have proven to be a breeding ground for contagion. How's everybody doing? How are you thinking about what's happening out here, this coronavirus thing? Everybody is here under a lot of stress. We see what's happening outside, how fast it's been moving. Once it gets in here, we all feel risk. Estamos en un lugar donde no depende de nosotras la seguridad, sino de terceras personas. Y esas terceras personas no mienten. El Departamento de Inmigración y Aduana de Estados Unidos nos respondió asegurando que ICE toma amplias precauciones para limitar la propagación potencial del COVID-19 en todos los centros de detención. The guards, they only wear their face masks on Monday and now they don't, they don't even have it on at all. As you see, she's going up there, she's going up there checking for the room. They are not practicing it, which is the social distance, the six feet. With 32 people in here, there's no way we're going to practice that. Bueno, yo en lo personal, como una media, me hice una cosa para cubrirme la cara porque no me voy a exponer. I got three problems for what I'm treating, which is high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and diabetes. This is the medicine I have to take every day. Muchas de las personas detenidas estamos peleando nuestros casos de inmigración. Perfectamente podríamos estar llevando nuestro proceso de inmigración en libertad y con nuestras familias. I'm concerned because at this point my health is at risk. It's not easy to be here right now. They're telling us to put our stuff together so we can move to Alpha. Alpha is a place where you sleep one on top of the other. And we don't know exactly the reason why. But what we know is that they're going to put us in a more uh, worse condition. If they try to use force to take us out of here, then it's going to be a big issue. We all did. We all said we are not moving. You think we all, you think we all fit in the hole? We don't fit in the hole. Don't put us all in the hole. En el centro de detención de Irwin en Oscila, ICE ha confirmado que por lo menos un empleado y un detenido contrajeron el virus. 
the warren make a declaration saying that there was somebody here who says the fuck for coronavirus and he's here i'm really scared i'm gonna die Hicimos una reunión a nivel general de la unidad um, donde manifestamos que a partir de hoy nosotros empezamos una huelga de hambre. No vamos a comer, no vamos a trabajar porque no nos queremos mantener. The woman they communicated with us. They sent us a note through the laundry bag. They sent a letter saying that they're going to go on strike. Estamos levantando la voz para que escuchen nuestras peticiones. Todo el que vea este video que lo comparta para ver si llega a mano de alguien que nos pueda ayudar. Mujeres inmigrantes en el centro de detención de Irwin, en Osila, Georgia, están desesperadas por los riesgos de contagio al coronavirus al que están expuestas. Todos estamos grabando este video con miedo de que tomen represalias contra nosotros. También de alguien de Alfa. We started this Friday by refusing dinner and refused to work for this facility and to eyes free us. En un laxo de 48 horas, CNN recibió más de 30 denuncias de indocumentados en centros de detención en California, Florida, Texas, Louisiana, Nueva York y Massachusetts. Nilsson, how are you feeling about this? I mean, like, it's reached this point, but but also you don't know what they're going to do. I try to be strong, um, to hold on. It, it's really hard. Uh, there's so much going on outside. They think they're better than us. You can, you can call me after the break. Can you can you just keep it running? There is nobody infected in this facility. Okay, let me tell you something. My name is Nilson Barahona. I put a lawsuit, okay, to this facility. The both of the words were in a federal court on Thursday. And they declared that they have tested three people and one came positive. The people responsible are nowhere to be found. They're all sitting at home somewhere, barking orders, telling people like me what to say to you. It's a fucked up situation, it really is. <laughs> the facility is going to continue addressing issues as they arise. What that entails, I have no idea, okay? <laughs> Shanti, it's Seth. What's going on with uh, with your husband at this point? They retaliated against all the people that are participating in the hunger strike, and so now he's in isolation. ¿Qué has escuchado, Javier? Pues resulta que pues se las llevaron y las aislaron a todas. ¿Quiénes son esas? Sus nombres, sus nombres. Tania, Andrea. Llevo tres días de encerrada, me duele todo el cuerpo. El día que me sacaron, me sacaron esposada, me sacaron violentamente, me pegaron. No sé si se ve. Desde que estoy en esa celda no me he podido comunicar. Me duele todo el cuerpo, no he podido dormir. Estoy desesperada, tengo los nervios de puta. ¡Ayúdalo! Yo no sé si eso estuvo mal, no sé si fue mal en haber hecho ese video, si está contando lo que está pasando, está mal. Yo pensé que este país me iba a proteger, yo pensé que aquí me iban a ayudar. No aguanto más.
Hey, have you heard from Nilsson? So today he's still in the hall in Delta, in the shoot. I'm so worried about Nelson because he got a really weak health condition. He's diabetic. And with him refusing medication, one of the eyes ladies said they're going to get a permit from the judge to force feed us. Hi, Nilsson. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I have a need for uh, five days today. Uh, nothing. Uh, we haven't drink any water also, take any of my medicines. When I get up, you know, I get dizzy. Um, honestly, I'm feeling weak. This is very own here material. And now, uh, I mean, we haven't committed no crime. We are not hurting nobody. We didn't behave in, in aggressively in any way whatsoever. So uh, it's really hard to understand why they're treating us this way. Apenas recibí un correo electrónico hoy de que el jefe de inmigración de ICE allá en Atlanta eh, negó el pago. Eh, ellos todavía la tienen en la celda de castigo o ya usted ha salido de ahí? Todavía estoy en la celda de castigo. Ay, ok. Con el tiempo que tenemos, necesito yo ya preparar nuestro testimonio, ¿verdad? Hasta el 5 de mayo nos tienta a sacar de acá. No tengo derecho a llamadas, no tengo derecho a salir de la celda. No tengo derecho a comisaria y no tengo, y tengo que estar aislada. Ok. Gracias, legal. Can you see me? I can. Nice hair. <laughs> Uh, let me show you over here, okay? Yep. Oh, wow. And they're like all over the place, huh? Uh, basically, they just put them around. It says, please practice social distancing and be distant from each other. Big letters. Do you know when this inspection is going to happen? We can have, man. I mean, this, they have been running this place for years and they haven't cleaned it up properly. Look, it's, it's all kind of stuff in there. I mean, hair, everything. <laughs> it's, it's not sanitary. They're transferring me. What? Yep, to Stewart. When? I'll be from here to Stewart tonight. You know a thing that I have, it happens a lot. I'm walking on the sand. I'm walking and it feels like a nice breeze, it feels really nice. But then the sand, it just start like creating waves and then it becomes like huge mountains. And then I see like if the mountain is gonna fall over me, and then I have to run away from these waves and it's a bad feeling. Oh, no. I don't know, thinking about it, it makes me think like a unstable ground. No sabemos cuándo van a reabrir las cortes. Tal vez no hasta los finales de junio, no sabemos todavía. Dios mío, llevo 20 meses en detención. Esto es como si estuviera pagando una condena. 
yo nunca sé cuándo me voy a ir. Por lo menos los condenados tienen un día en que van a salir. ¿Será que más o menos para junio, julio, agosto? Yo creo que sí. Uy, no. Ay, sí, lo sé. My son, I talked to him the day before yesterday on the phone, and he, for the first time in six years, he said something to me that he had never said before. He said, Daddy, can we speak in English, please? Speak in Spanish. It was our thing, you know, this, this was a bond that we had together. I just feel like, like I am losing that bond, you know? I just want to be able to be with him again. America has been and still is the greatest country in the world. We are the shining city on the hill. Now it's up to us to protect what the rest of the world envies. Economic opportunity for everybody. Individual liberty for our children and our grandchildren. Todavía no tengo respuesta de ellos, no más cuando chequeé con la oficial uh -huh. si tiene nuestra solicitud, según ella, que él va a responder en varios días. Para lo de Parlo no hay nada, no entiendo lo que está pasando, ya, ya he enviado dos mensajes para chequear cómo va, pero estas veces no me ha respondido, no sé por qué. Cada semana este, estoy tratando de chequear con, con ahí sobre lo de parol y simple, simplemente no me responde, no hay respuesta de nada. Um, desafortunadamente no tengo muy buenas noticias hoy. Obvio, yo quería darle noticias mejores, pero aquí estamos. Eso es lo que está pasando actualmente. O sea que yo debo terminar prácticamente mi caso acá en Perra. No sé. Las autoridades de ICE están confirmando la muerte de una persona en el centro de inmigración de Stuart debido al COVID-19. We hear about it on the news, Spanish TV. Somebody who was detained by eye on the facility of store passed away. He was choking, you know, because we know our dog people sick, but we all hope that nobody died, you know what I mean? We're asking as a threshold matter for these 11 petitioners to be released. I've already, I've already ruled on that, and I haven't heard anything terribly persuasive to change my mind on that. A whistleblower, a nurse, uh, working at a Georgia Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE facility, leveling, honestly, ghastly allegations. The complaint alleges the facility lacked protection against coronavirus for detained immigrants. We didn't have anything to sanitize with. We didn't have the proper PPE. The first case of COVID there in the facility, it was COVID is not here in the facility. Andrea, hoy salió un reportaje de una enfermera de Irwin que habló públicamente sobre las condiciones ahí y dijo básicamente lo que ustedes han estado diciendo desde el principio. Eso es algo que es una prueba muy valiosa para que se respalde que lo que estamos diciendo es verdad. Women in that facility, migrant women, say that a doctor was performing procedures for which no medical indication existed. They say I'm going to a gynecologist. They say you're going to do a surgery. I said nobody informed me that I'm going to do a surgery. All of a sudden I get up, that's when I know they went through my belly button. I got three big O's. He never explained anything to me and I never agreed. Tengo que levantar la voz, no solo por mí, sino por las personas que estamos realmente sufriendo en este lugar. Es un tema 
¿Tienes miedo a firmarlo después de todo lo que ha pasado? No, estoy cansada de, del silencio. That's outside, Ingrid. When did that happen? Now. Now, what is I visit? We're just leaving this Irwin County detention center. Uh, there was one woman in particular. She described the experience here uh, as torture. What's going on? Not much. I see your shirt. You just feel like we got to do something, man, to feel far away, you know? There's too much going on outside, and we can't ignore it. Even though there is nothing we can do, but at least like this, we feel like we are part of it. Gracias a lo que pasó con el ginecólogo, al fin pusieron los ojos en este lugar. Tuvo que pasar algo catastrófico para que centraran la mirada en nosotros. ¿Cómo andas, papi? ¡Uy, qué grande está este burro! ¡Uy, no lo puedo chinear! ¿Cómo estás, vos? Bien. ¿Oh? Está grande y fuerte. ¡Qué pesado, papi! Ya no, ya ver, yo no te puedo chinear, pero yo no puedo ya, vos. No tiene sentido que yo haya pasado dos años en una cárcel y saber que podía perfectamente esperar una corte en libertad. Todos los días hasta el día de hoy yo pienso en, en Irwin. Acompañé en procesos emocionales a muchas personas y no las estaba ayudando a ellas, me estaba ayudando a mí también. Karina, ¿cómo estás? Mucho gusto. Yo soy Andrea. Quiero que sepas que nosotros estamos luchando por ustedes. Reciban un abrazo de consuelo y de que sepan que no están solitas. Gracias. Today, I can tell you that I am sure people on the inside are feeling what we're doing over here on the outside. They told me, you need to leave this country because you are a threat to the community. Who were they talking about? My wife? A person who was born here? Somebody who was suffering because I wasn't next to her? Were they talking about my son? A United States citizen? They were protecting my son by taking me away from him? Were they protecting my sisters? My mom? Who were they protecting? That's what I wonder up to today's day. <laughs> 